play Snowman by Saya. We're in standard tuning, there's no capo. I'll be teaching you how to play the bar chords. So if you're an advanced player, you can learn that way. If you're a beginner, I'm actually gonna teach you how to play with a capo as well. So you can go ahead and skip a couple minutes in the video if you would like to play with a capo and open chords. So for uh, the advanced version, we're gonna have a D flat major. We're gonna have an E flat minor. We're gonna have an A flat major a G flat major, and a B flat minor. So B flat minor, you're gonna have your index finger on the first fret of the <coughs> first five strings there. You're gonna bar those five strings with your index finger. Your middle finger is gonna be on the second fret of the B. Ring fingers on the third fret of the D. Pinky right under on the third fret of the G. And you can slide that shape up to the sixth fret for your E flat minor. <clears throat> um, your D major chord, you're going to bar the 4th fret with your index finger, those 5 strings, and then your ring finger is going to bar the 6th fret, the D, the G, and the B strings. Boy, fret buzz. Um, and then you have a G flat chord and a A flat major. So the G flat major, you're going to bar all 6 strings on the 2nd fret, then you're going to put your middle finger on the 3rd fret of the um, G string. Ring fingers on the 4th fret of the A, pinkies on the 4th fret of the D. And that is your G flat major. And to get your A flat major, you just slide that same shape up 2 frets. And those are the 5 chords we're going to be working with here. So, for the verse and the introduction, we're going to start out on our D flat chord. And the strumming goes like this. You're going to play your A, G, D, B, D, G, or your G, D, actually, so A, G, D, B, G, D. One, two, three, four, that's the intro, and then it goes into the verse, you play this one more time, one, to your E flat minor, two, Then you go to your A flat, one, two, back to your D flat, do that twice, go to our B flat minor for twice, up to our E flat minor for twice. Now we're going to go to our G flat chord, to our A flat. Back to the D flat for two times. And then you're going to go to your B flat. And that's the end of the verse. And now we're going to transition into the chorus, which goes like this. So you're going to start on your F chord, B flat minor. A flat, D flat. And when I'm on these chords that have their root note on this high or low E string, I'm just playing that low E string instead of the A. So you do that for, let's see, I think it's three times. Yeah, you do that three times, and then you go to go to your F the fourth time, you go F, B flat minor, G flat, to your D flat. Then we go one more time, F, B flat minor, G flat, to your D flat. F, B flat minor, G flat. So you go back to your D flat minor. F chord to your B flat minor to your G flat major. And you go back to your D flat chord and that puts you right back in the verse. <clears throat> so, I know that's kind of confusing. There is um, tabs on Ultimate Guitar that you can look at, but the main thing is I wanted to get across the chords that you need and how to do the picking pattern there. Um, if you're advanced enough to play those bar chords, you can look up the um, chords on Ultimate Guitar and figure out the rest. 
Um, for now, I'm going to transition into showing you how to play as a beginner. You're going to have a capo on your first fret. And so we have an A minor chord, a C chord, a D minor chord, a G, and we'll play it with an open F. So an A minor chord, your index is on the first fret of that B string, middle is on the second fret of the D, ring fingers on the second fret of the G, play all five strings. C chord, you just lift your ring finger from that G up to the third fret of the A. Same, you can play this with five strings again. For a G chord, your ring finger is on the third fret of the high E, middle finger is on the third fret of the low E, index is on the second fret of the A, play all six strings. For D minor, your index is on the first fret of the high E, middle is on the second fret of the G, and your ring finger is on the third fret of the B, and you just play those four strings. <clears throat> and then for our F chord, it's just like a C chord, but you're going to drop your middle finger down one string, like I did there, to the second fret of that G, and your pinky is going to slide in on the third fret of the D string. <clears throat> so to play as a beginner here, it's going to sound like this. So we're going to start on our A minor here, and we're going to pick A, G, D, B, G, D. Do that once on your A minor, switch to your C chord. Switch to your D minor chord, now you're going to play the D, G, B, E, B, G. Down. Then to your G chord, play that root note and then go up and down. Okay, so A minor, C, D minor, G. F chord, play that twice, C, play that twice, to your F chord, and then that transitions into the chorus, so the chorus sounds like this. So, it's not going to sound exactly like the uh, original version does. If you'd like to play the original version, you're going to have to learn how to play the bar, bar chords, but that's close enough um, for a beginner version. So, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.